Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I played a run on my own between last time we spoke and now, and we had Bellatro recently, so it's actually been like three days since I last played Slice and Dice, I think. So, uh, you know, I'll be fine, I think. I've been doing a little more thinking about this game. I'm feeling uh, different, I would feel, I would say, but I think at this point I only really lose two lapses in focus more than anything else. I'm gonna lean back. Here we go. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. But uh, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, I don't know. In in theory, I feel like Monster Pristine is pretty bad, but in practice it's maybe okay. Uh, while we're low on the streak as well, I want to play Monster Decay, because someone in my Discord said they think that Monster Decay is like... Or no, sorry, Hero Decay. They said Hero Decay is maybe not so bad. So I don't know if I've ever played it. Well, let me let me check the stats actually. Modifiers. Let me peep the stats here. Where is it? Three. It's got to be low. Here with the K. Yeah, I've hit, taken it zero of twenty nine times, so I should give it a shot. But I like Monster Pristine. I think it's fine. Uh, I also, I I feel like if I were on a higher streak, I would think harder about taking D level middle. But since we're early on, I can just kind of do whatever. Sorry, I leaned back in my chair and I realized I took my hands off the keyboard. Which means, and then it's going to be like, oh, why are you just clicking everything, huh? No, you're not going to say that. I'm going to say that. And then I'm going to go, oh, probably because I'm a freaking... Anyway. Uh, we got an okay starting team here. I was writing a little bit for a video about this game and one one of the things that i was talking about in the in the writing was specifically this party actually not brigand but mage acolyte alloy dabble so i'm glad we rolled this because in theory oh, sorry we just went glacia in theory this team actually isn't so bad because mage has two little supporters other than acolyte but I think in practice it's going to be kind of bad. Sorry, I'm changing how I sit. I like I put my legs on the desk and then I see my mic shake and I go, oh, that's definitely bad. So, you know, because like I knees up on the desk and then I speak and then my, my knees shake the desk and I'm just freaking losing it here. Anyway, monk it is. And I'm trying to remember to just click the inventory button after every, uh, every fight. Remember, things aren't so bad. The worst part about Pristine is that you can never tell how bad things really are until you're locked in. I mean, I could stop and check, but... Locking one here means he never casts. I should reroll. Yeah, okay. A little better. So I just want to move my mic up a little bit since I sat up. There we go. Last time I'm going to mess with it, I swear. <laughs> Definitely just gonna kill the crow. Oh, we have to burst the boar then. We could do uh, two plus one maybe. That looks fine. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm still feeling uh, a lot of joy in opening up and playing this game. It's a good time, still. And I'm glad to run it here. Fine. I, I I do want to put up a good streak, but I also I've been kind of like leaning towards just putting down the effort, even though it's a little bit less exciting, maybe. I just have to treat this as nice, good for Acolyte. I'm going to be playing this game because I want to and not just because content, you know, it's like a little bonus game, I guess, is how I can look at it. As soon as I treat it like anything other than that, I might uh, start worrying too much about doing exciting things, which is less good. Monster Pristine, then we just triple roll, no damage against Null here. That's okay. Every turn that you live is another turn to roll better. Or in this case, worse, apparently. Come on, gang. Someone here is going to show up, right? Someone rolls me something. Okay, thank you, mage. You're gonna go here. This fight is going very horrifically. 
Nobody's able to do anything. Someone roll me some mana to kill this knoll. There we go. Finally. All you gotta do if you're having trouble in games based on randomness is complain. Hmm. I like Sparky, but I think he definitely does nothing in a lot of cases. I kind of just hate Ninja, but... Ninja is better if you don't have a gray or yellow selected yet, because then you can pick up Knight or Scrapper. Ninja brings very little to the table here. I'm gonna go Sparky. I think he's gonna be pretty bad, but we'll see. Do I have to launch into this rat here? I might. Cleanse is cool. Typically speaking, I feel like you have to face down Bramble. Like, if you let Bramble... If you, if you try to kill the rat first a lot of the times, Bramble will just kill you because you run out of sides. Although we have the Sparkster, so all is actually just fine. This fight is like, yeah, I'm playing Bramble and yeah, I'm gonna miss a lot, but eventually I'm gonna hit because he's never gonna kill me. You know? Wandify Citrine Ring. I don't hate Wandify. I think it scales all right. And it turns Acolyte into a real human. In case I have to keep her for any reason. Two, three. Could kill this barrel guaranteed. It's assuming I'm going to hit a uh, two mana here. Maybe the wrong assumption, but we go two, zap. Yellow, gray, red, orange. Probably that. I think they run, don't they? Yeah, okay. I was not sure because our health bar is pretty low. Yeah, like Wandify means that I don't have to be sad about keeping Acolyte into the late game here. Or I guess the mid game this is. Oh, Tattered Robes is pretty nice. Can I pick a pseudo in this fight? I think I shouldn't. Uh, it's like, it is nice to have Tattered Robes though with Sparky. I just don't think it's the right idea. As nice as it would be. Ooh, let's go, Sparky. That's my boy right there. At the end of the day, the worst case is that Sparky is just Gambler. He has a really, really good side. And sometimes he even rolls it. What do you know? Blood Boots? Ah. Blood Boots is pretty good here. I like Ayu as well. I think this vital is fine. But... Giving Dabor a plus one is very good here. You could also go like this and then Brigham just hits nothing but bangers. Uh, I think it's better for da uh, you know what? Actually, I think it's good for Brigand. Because all we want out of Brigand is for him to do damage. Dabor has a lot of variants and like, you know, locking in on a five heal is not really what I'm looking for in a lot of turns, so. They are beating my acolyte down, holy. Okay, just checking. I can save her so Sparky gets to roll four or whatever. Oh, good. Acolyte just getting a little bit stomped, but we have a clear through line, I feel. Plenty to do from this spot. Lots of cool things on the horizon. Roar. Like being unable to count. That's pretty exciting, don't you think? I really don't want to lock uh, one mana on Sparky. Sometimes you gotta. Oh. Alright, fine. You win. Yeah, now Brigand on turn three can hit the X again, but I think you don't really consider The odds are low. Ooh, great pick. 
Acolyte's pretty worthless. Berserker is very good, but if I take Berserker, who's holding my lead boots? I want to pull something like Collector in this run. I think that's his name. I get him in Curator mixed up on the naming front a lot. I think he's Collector. Super down to just let this fanatic blow himself away here. Not much I'm gonna do is a lot better than just letting this fanatic swing a, uh, a 12 there and kill himself. That shit's pretty good. Sorry, what's going on here? I could just play balance, right? Monk probably dies. Okay, I'm maybe not going to play balance. We'll see what the druid rolls. Two shield means we can go... Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Every turn you live against Bell, he's one step closer to dying. Is this a heavy bite? It is. Here I was thinking I was just getting super lucky. I feel like I'm going to kill. I didn't do the math, but I can just kind of feel it. Ah, and I, my feeling was wrong, I see. Hold on. I should have checked. It's okay. Bone saw really bad for Druid is the thing. Yeah, how many of the tier three reds actually like Bone Saw? No, no, eh, not bad. No, no. What like one, two, three? Nah, I don't like it. I think you have to have a good two for it. I'm gonna pick up anti-venom for Monk because he can redirect poison. And that's kind of cool. Gray, yellow, blue. Man, I hate it when illusions never target together. Really grinds my gears. The real shame is that I didn't roll one of Sparky's Sparky Sparky sides here. This was the perfect timing. Everyone else rolled twos. Look at this. He could have gone this last night. Could have been a dang hero. It's all right, Sparky. Uh, not really what I wanted to see here, but I have to pick one. When you look at them side by side, and it's always Brute, right? Brute is just so much better. I've never looked at these side by side. The only thing is, uh, the other guy hits a four, but... I think we do this. I don't want to put up the single use, though. But if Dabla rolls shield, the only bad side is healing. That's like rolling an X on turn one. But, ah, eh, what are the odds, right? It's probably not that likely. Zombie is the three. I want the two. This is good. I want the two, please, Brute. Okay. You know, and by Brute, I mean Sparky. Oh, good. Yeah, engage is also a lot worse in this run because we don't want to be engaging. We want to just be knocking off their, uh, their, their pristine. Sorry, my fault. Three, no, we want to go to be gone. Dragon hide gloves. Crazy? Am I? Am I? What I should do is I should go look at the units and see what's best here for Dragonhide Gloves. But if it's bad, just pretend I clicked it and then the game rolled me like, I don't know, pillow or duvet. Also, I've just turned my dabbler into a soldier. That doesn't seem right. None of this seems right, actually. I think the dragon hive gloves just chill for now. <laughs> uh, 
punished. Fruit, I'm gonna fucking lose it. This dude just refuses to hit. I don't understand. It's like he's averse to hitting his two damage shield. What am I paying you for? Yeah, now nah, you just just bitch, dude. All you gotta do is just start complaining. They'll shape up. They'll work it out. So it's shift two is the key binding. It's really awkward to hit shift, I feel like. I don't have it in my jeans. Maybe can you can oh, do dude. Wait, can you play this game with just keyboard? I guess you could, but like clicking on dice is way easier. Trying to look at this dice and associate it in my brain with this is lethal. Trying to associate it in my brain with uh, five is just never gonna happen. Ah, I see. Well. I don't think I'm going to prospectively take Twin. I wonder how bad it really is. Because I have worn arms. And I could give them the boots. But I'm definitely just going to take the ghast. You can wandify his bad side. Could have had that on Sparky all along. I do like ghast. I think that harvest is very good. I don't really mind this. Like, that's strong. Ah, oh, fuck, it's time to do bone math. Hold on. So you could go three, kill. Ah, but if you do that, you can't harvest. So this three... You can go... Right. You can do two damage, harvest. In my mind, so what I was looking for here, which I think I now recognize is impossible, is you wanna so what I would like to have done here is, sorry, here, uh, what, it would be like two, no, it would be like three balance harvest this guy, kill both of these, but I'm one mana short of that idea. So it's okay. We do want harvest every turn. And the line that I played is not bad by any stretch. This goes here, harvests. Uh, you could go like, what, it's two plus burst plus three. I don't love this. I guess he's making an imp though. You wanna leave it so that I have something to harvest next turn. Getting maximum value out of our units is going to be most important. And our unit is gassed, so it's not too hard to get maximum value. We just have to be sure that we're thinking about it. This goes here into harvest. Oh, immune to poison. Haha. <laughs> Stinky. I don't even need to kill this imp, it's doing nothing. Ooh, immune to poison again. Haha. <laughs> oh, what are you? You're five? Ah, this is lethal. Nice. Ocular amulet. I think plus one left side kind of sucks. Cliff of Purity is pretty hit or miss, though. I don't know who my, my gray is yet, so I don't know if this is going to do something or nothing. Uh, and... I don't know. I don't really like it that much. I'm gonna go random. Eh. It's alright. I don't mind the Fatal Flying Guillotine. 
I think I have to look though. Holy shit, Druid. I have to look at the fight to see if I actually want to guillotine. Like this one? Probably not. Doing a little bit of math here. I think the survey says our druid is dead. We could maybe do something about it. I don't think that's gonna be it either. the worst. Hmm. I broke one intangible here. So it's not so bad. I won't die in this fight. But I did need to give it the respect it was due, because this is a killer fight. Quick check. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, wow. I didn't know that. So he's a, they're immune to spells, which means they don't die to kill spells even. But you do get the mana. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I may as well get the mana. However you want to do it, this is lethal for sure. Like it's on board lethal with no deaths, but strange. Roulette veteran. Uh, I mean, it's gotta be veteran, right? You can't pick roulette here. Also, I have good things for veteran. So, because Veteran can take the shoes and the gloves, and now he's hitting fives, which is good enough. He hits fives, we're okay. I can five, weaken, and then just roll for mana maybe? Yeah, because if you go weaken here, five here, redirect poison. You're still dying, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't hit like that. That's okay. I don't mind. Because now I can kill both birds, and then it's just me versus the devil. Don't worry, I win. Balance runs them back, yeah. Alright, devil. Let's hurry this one along, shall we? I should really unequip Scythe in a fight like that. Ooh, Tormal and Pariba. Ooh, it's kind of awkward for Gas, though. Gas doesn't give a fuck about Tormal and Pariba, now that I think about it. Maybe I take the Broadsword. It's alright. This is what, it's fours? Yeah. Actually, Spinning Scythe goes off in this fight sometimes. Might be able to kill a snake or two, even. Well, let's see what we have. Four kill. Uh, I would need, like, one more damage or mana here. I'm down to, like, gas roll for it. Okay, I should not get lost in the sauce here. I think I got lost in the sauce here anyway. Way better to just harvest, right? 
And then what? Uh, Monk takes all this poison. And then kill the null. Probably like that. Two poison goes to veteran. This immune to poison has turned out to make a lot of fights a lot easier than I expected. Nice little combo. I thought it was going to be a little worse. But, yeah, what do you know? Sometimes we get to be pleasantly surprised instead of angry. Cool, right? Hang on, this is for sure. Okay, so let's not miss it. How to profit. It is for sure profit. This is a team that wants to just sit here and outlive with Ghast. The only issue is I don't have a way to cheat Ghast's death. That's all I would like to change. If I had a way to cheat death here, I think we would be ecstatic about our position. As is, I think it's just pretty good. Oh yeah, also... Nice poison. Haha. <laughs> Immune, by the way. Yeah, it's like, we want to try to slow scale, but Gas doesn't slow scale. He throws up his shit and then he dies. Throws up his shit and then he flips off a building. And just sends it. I should have harvested that turn. Well, he's doing all right right now. Yeah, I missed a harvest. Like in this fight, even though I could just stall, there's no real reason to stall. Uh, you don't, the outcome of this fight is always the same. So why would I waste my time, right? The survey ends always the same. Sapphire Ring? Oof. Formal and Priva would have actually been pretty good. Brimstone? I don't like picking Brimstone without a future, right? When you're in the 8s and 9s, you probably pick for who you have, so... This is alright. But Pariba Prophet was definitely the winning play. I didn't even think about it. Ouchie. Oh my god, it's another fucking heavy weapons jinx, man. I'm so sick of this guy. Uh, we go here. That's one, two, three, four. Can't do it. Hmm. About there. Oh, uh, this isn't heavy weapons because of the broadsword, which lets me kill this Jinx. That's nice. Because items don't get affected by heavy weapons. Or any of the side affecting uh, curses, for that matter. You can rescue, I guess. But why? Yeah, why? I already have that bird dead to rights. That guy's dead on my screen. If you want. I'm gonna leave him go, because I can kill the Hydra there, though. Hey. Thank you. Shout out to the heavy weapons cheater. This is a run for Granite. It's also a run for Valkyrie. It's a really good Valkyrie setup since we want to go long and Valkyrie has revive and deathify for Ghast. Oh, uh, and when you think about it, really, like all of these heroes are going to do the same thing. I'm not going to get locked into like twin mimic, right? So if I skip over Granite here, I have, at worst, I have, what, Poet? I'm down for Sharp Shot. Hmm. I'll keep the four here. Or I'll keep the four on the side, I mean. It's a very interesting run to bring to completion. 
I don't need to lock this. Maybe I needed to lock that. Huh. <laughs> uh, hilarious. I don't need to lock this too. X, X. The 1 in 36 never happens to me. X, X. It's all good. Don't bother me much. What's going on here? No, I would like to first burst harvest. Can basically kill that wisp for one mana. Yeah, and everything else is awkward, so it's fine. Uh, five to the Basilisk. Three to yourself. I gotta say, I should kill those wolves. Saying the bones are no threat is nice and all, but the bones are a threat. Don't get it twisted. Basilisks are non-threatening. I learned my lesson, don't worry. Also, he really rolled that. He really said, let's see if we can whip this one, boss. Don't try a veteran. Dolphin Silk Cape. Dolphin doesn't really do anything for me here. Most of my sides are all about the same anyway. Like, the highest I'm getting out of it is a 5, but it's a 5 every turn on whatever I want. Which is, when you say it out loud, actually pretty good. And what am I replicating here? Yeah, fucking nothing. I'm not randoming over Dolphin. Dolphin is, like, goaded. So you just go like, yeah, now I always hit 5 Echo. Or 5 Repel, I mean. That's pretty cool, right? Or 5 Redirect if you want. 5 Cleanse? Maybe. Hmm. Sharpshot, did you just XXX me? Someone check the tapes. I'm pretty sure I just got XXX. <laughs> I believe it to be true, because I would have locked anything here to stun this whiz. I don't think I would just be yapping along and letting four bones spawn. Maybe I did. Who knows? But I think... I think I think I just got XXX'd. Not very cool, Sharp Shot. Let's now look at us. What do we do now? Die? Hope not. That would be upsetting. Ooh, it's not good. Okay. It's simple. Monk rolls repel. <laughs> and what did I say? I said it's good here because we have repel. I said dolphin repel. It looks pretty good here, doesn't it? The moral of the story is that I should stop talking. That's the big takeaway here. Uh, it's okay. You almost redeemed yourself, Sharp Shot, in the eyes of the Lord. Just don't XXX me again. Alright. You're okay. <laughs> just a little bit. Just, you know, just a little something to keep you on your toes. A little something something to get us all, get the blood pumping. Remind us all that we're still alive. Nope, I want to go here, here, here. Thank you, Prophet. Orange, yellow, gray. So you go gray. And just like that, it's like we never had a near-death experience that was caused by gross negligence of one of our team members. It's almost like it never even happened. 
dragon. Hey, we get Valkyrie. Cool. I am rewarded. I'm down with Dolphin Valkyrie here and Poison Immunity. Echo Rescue sounds very good. Alright. Sharpshot is here to kill the bird and the archer for me, and then 1v1ing dragon sounds easy for this team. Because I have revives if people are dying, I have weakens to slow them down. The world is truly ours. Uh, there's nothing else to rescue, so you may as well just go up. And we're gonna we're gonna begin the slow build. Although I should probably break pristine instead. We can start soothing next turn. Yeah, please continue to big bite. Don't bother me at all. This is a rather large bite. My oh my, what big uh, teeth you have. All the better to reroll you with, my dear. You honestly just deserve it. I do not have sympathy for the devil when the devil goes XX. You you deserve your fate. That's not my problem. Hope you rot. This Valkyrie is really rolling rescue every turn, huh? I would like the mana. Uh, I should just soothe. I know I can approach immunity here if I just soothe enough. Alright, rat. Stand back up. Fun fact, he won't be targeted by this because he wasn't alive when the targeting happened. Uh, and all we have to do is spam HP increase on veteran with profit and then spam soothe. You can't kill me through poison because Soothe counteracts it, and you won't be able to bite through the veteran because I'll have too much health. And I will just fucking sit here and kill you with a death by a million cuts. Actually, no, you're already dead. Never mind. Yeah, it's like, it's the sort of run that feels like it could go for a long time, but doesn't have to. I could have killed an 80 HP dragon with this team, though. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. It was a little, uh, little tight there on 419. We almost had another unfathomable accident thanks to a little XXX there. But all is well in the kingdom. I don't have to complain, which is nice. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.